Hi, Morgan and Mark here from Whole Lots A Love, and last week we did a milk froth off video. So we decided this week, why don't we try and froth some non-dairy milks? Mark, what do we have? Well, we've got milk that doesn't come from cows, basically. <laughs> we, we, so we did do the soy last mm -hmm. time, but we also now have almond milk, coconut milk, and rice milk. And, well, actually it's called uh, rice beverage, but we're calling it rice milk for these purposes. Mm -hmm. We do get a lot of questions from customers asking us if these types of milk will work for a cappuccino or latte. So we wanted to show you what type of froth they do create. So we're going to be semi-scientific about it. We're going to take a quarter cup of each milk. Uh, we're going to use a Gaja Brera with a Panarello wand. Panarello wand, really no technique to that. It automatically froths. Um, and we'll put them on there to see how they do. Okay, we've already purged our machine, so I'm going to go ahead and froth, starting with the almond milk. Okay, and uh, almond milk, 40 calories per cup. We're doing a quarter cup, so that's 10 calories worth of milk there. Not bad. How's it doing? It, it's good. It's starting to get a nice roll and yeah, it's creating got, some nice froth. Yep, yeah, it seems to be building up, up pretty quick. Um, also in almond milk, no cholesterol. Um, and this, this almond milk has 50% more calcium than standard milk and no saturated fat. Well, that looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So next we're going to do the coconut milk. Okay, and the, the coconut milk, 45 calories per cup, so we've got a quarter cup here, that's about 11 calories. Um, no cholesterol, um, does have a gram of saturated fat in what we're doing here, four grams in a cup. But it does look like it's frothing uh, nicely, pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bubbles are fairly large, uh, we got there, but froths up nicely. Yeah, it does. All right, and lastly, we're going to do the rice milk. Okay, and the rice milk, uh, calorie winner here with 130 calories in a cup, so we're at about, in a quarter cup, we've got about oh, 35 or so in there. And we well, got a nice roll going there and some... Very large bubbles. Very large bubbles. Um, Starting to get you see that really, steam really hot. Off. Yeah. yeah, I think we're just burning it, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll stop that. Okay. So in conclusion, both the almond milk and the coconut milk froth really well, so you can use those for a cappuccino. But the rice milk did not do a great job frothing. Yeah, the frothing loser and calorie winner. In fact, I think with the rice milk, you know, we if that were normal milk, it would have been burned. We, you know, just kept going with steaming it, trying to get it to, to produce a froth. And, you know, we got a little bit of bubbles here, but again, I think that would have been burned. Um, and, you know, looking at, looking at the other two, uh, I guess we were kind of in agreement that the almond milk is a, is a denser froth. Mm -hmm. uh, but they both, uh, they both did pretty well. So if you like almond milk or coconut milk, it might be appropriate for your cappuccinos. Yeah. So that's the uh, non-dairy milk froth off. Mm -hmm. I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.